this is Rachel, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I'm gonna share with you 15 things that I find annoying about Japan. Let's start. Number one, this little bugger over here. This is a hanko, and basically it's a personalized um, stamp which you use um, instead of your signature. In Japan, people don't sign documents um, or very seldom you get places that accept um, just a signature. They need you to have your own hanko to stamp on documents. I don't know how much safer it is using a hanko over just a signature. In Australia, we just use a signature and you know, everything runs fine. I think culture is great and this is probably like a Japanese cultural kind of thing, but this is so inconvenient. If I could get rid of it, I would get rid of it. I hate you. Number two, banks in Japan close at three and they don't open during the weekends. When I was living in Japan, I was a full-time student. I was also working in the night time. It was so hard for me to find time to go to the bank. I used to have to sneak out during lunchtime to go get things sorted. And even then, because everyone else has to get things done, the line during lunchtime is so long. I just feel like the banks need to open for longer and on weekends. I'm not asking for the banks to open 24 seven like the convenience stores. I'm not asking them to open throughout Saturdays and Sundays, but at least like a short period of time on a Saturday so that people that work Mondays to Fridays can make time on the Saturday to go and get their errands done at the bank. Number three, not only do the banks close at three, ATM machines also close at a certain time. Depending on the banks and where the location of the ATM, you have different close times, like at six o'clock, at eight o'clock, at nine o'clock. The ATMs at the convenience stores usually open 24 hours, but because they are open 24 hours, they charge you extra to get money out. And it depends on the day that you get the money out like and the time actually if you get it after five or after six they charge you extra money if you get it on a Saturday or a Sunday they charge you extra money even more money than on a weekdays to get your money out and also with bank transfers they charge you money to transfer online in Australia we don't get charged in Japan we just get charged we get charged for everything stop trying to steal my money ATMs need to open for longer and not charge us money to take our own money out. For uh, free size clothes, I feel like in Japan they sell a lot of free size, one size clothing and they expect it to fit everyone. We all have different body types. You can't expect the one piece of clothing to fit everybody. And especially for me, I don't have that body type where I can just walk into a store, pick something out and expect it to fit me perfectly or even fit me at all. I usually like to, you know, try things out, ask for different sizes to make sure that it is something I really want and it will actually look good on me. And there were so many incidents where I go into a shop, pick up something and went to the lady, oh, is there a bigger size for this? And the reply to me was, it's free size. And you know how like Japanese sizes, they're generally smaller than the Western sizes? A free size is not a free size at all. It is like medium. Five, over packaging. That is so annoying, over packaging. When you go to shops, they'll put your clothes in the plastic, clear plastic, and then they put it in a bag, and then they'll put like seal it up with stickers and everything. It's just a lot of packaging going into it. Maybe it's part of the hospitality culture, the omotenashi culture Japanese people have, but I feel it's really unnecessary. Six, in Japan, people don't really order out of the menu. So when you order something out of the menu, it kind of freaks them out a little bit, you know? People, because people don't do that. Vegetarians, vegan, or if you, I mean, vegan's a bit like, difficult in, all, in a lot of places anyways but maybe vegetarian and also like if you can't eat a certain food for a, for religious reasons like pork or beef Japan can't really cater for you in Australia when you go to a restaurant and you have like a sweet and sour pork but you're like I'm vegetarian can you take out all the pork and put in tofu or something and yeah they'll be like okay sure and they'll 
put tofu in there for you. And also because Japan has a lot of specialty places where they only have the one menu and their kitchen only has ingredients for that one dish. So it's very hard for them to go out of that dish to do something extra for you and they're not allowed to, especially if they are like a chain restaurant, like a franchise. They can't go away from the menu because then they will not be covered if something goes wrong. Number seven, cash only places are pretty annoying. I've learned to carry a lot of cash with me at all times in Japan because there are just a lot of places that don't accept card. Actually, not all cards will work in Japan. I remember I had some French girls, um, they bought, they signed up for a traveler's card with their banks in France. So the bank told them that this card was universal and that they can use it in any country. The girls brought the card to Japan, tried it in some of the places. Nope, none accepted that card. And it was like a traveler's card that was approved by the bank. Eight, squat toilets are pretty annoying, especially when you're like in a hurry and you're just like, oh, I need to pee. Ah, what's that? Oh no. And for me personally, I have weak knees, so it's not easy for me to like squat and pee at the same time. And I don't know, it's hard for girls to aim. I don't know if it's just me, but I can't aim when I'm squatting and peeing at the same time. I, and I hate it when I get things everywhere. It's so gross. I know this whole conversation is getting gross, but it is gross. And because people can't aim right, people like me, you know, the squat toilets stink. They stink so bad. Nine. In Japan, when you go to an izakaya, which is a Japanese bar, they charge you what you call the tsukidashi. Tsukidashi is basically a seating charge. So when you come in, they will charge you per person to sit in their restaurant. And to kind of make you feel better, they give you like a small little dish, maybe like a tofu or like a pickled vegetable dish or some salad or something like that. And I remember when I used to work at Izakaya and when we have customers from overseas come over, it was so hard to explain to them what the tsukidashi was. So well, when we serve out the tsukidashi, they're like, I didn't order this. And I'm like, I know you didn't, but this is kind of like um, an entree that we kind of give you when you come in. And then they'll ask me, is it free? And I'm like, no, it, there is like a charge to it, 300 yen or something. And then they're like, but we didn't order it. And I'm like, yes, I know, but it's just tsukidashi is the culture. I can't do anything about it. So remember that guys, tsukidashi, when you go to Japan and you go to an izakaya and when you check your receipt and you're like, what the hell is this? I don't remember ordering that. That is probably the tsukidashi. 10. As a non-smoker, it's really hard to explain to a person who smokes how I feel about smoking. They don't smell smoke the way we do. I have nothing against people who smoke, but it's just what the smoke actually does to me. Um, my throat starts to grow really dry and I, I cough and I start getting like weird symptoms and it's just really unpleasant, especially when I have to go eat at a restaurant. Um, the more modern restaurants these days, they separate the smoking and non-smoking areas, but the traditional places, which is the places that you want to go to um, when you're in Japan, like the izakayas, it's usually just smoking. 11. In Japan, there is this souvenir culture, which is basically um, when you go on trips, you're expected to bring back souvenirs for the people around you, workmates, classmates, schoolmates, teachers, just everyone. And it's just like, if you don't, people will be like, wait a minute, you went on a holiday? Where's the omiyage? For me, when I go on trips before, I would think about getting gifts for my family or my close friends. But now I have to think about getting gifts for my workmates, classmates, my teachers, for the people who did recording for me. So I'm thinking about all these gifts that I have to get people. <sighs> Well, I feel like in Japan there are too many staircases and especially um, at the train stations I feel like they don't cater enough for people with disabilities, people who can't walk or people who find it hard to walk, the elderly, people on wheelchairs. For the bigger and more touristy train stations, yes, there are lifts, there are escalators, 
their ramps but for the more local and the not so touristy areas there aren't any of those things and it's not just that the gap and between the platform and the train is so wide sometimes I feel like it's so dangerous for like little children or even elderly people to walk and um, over it's like the leg can fall into the hole at any time it's so wide like in Australia well in Perth anyways our buses if there's someone in need will lower and then tilt to one side and then um, a ramp will come out from the door so that you know um, people on wheelchairs or mothers pushing a pram can use the ramp and in Japan the buses still have steps and there are so many old people um, these days that take the bus it's not okay for the elderly because they're obviously not as strong anymore and we don't want them to struggle and fall and then hurt themselves even more Japan needs to learn to cater more for the elderly and disabled people, I feel. 13! The song's a bit of a weird one, maybe. Maybe it's just me, but I actually find um, the sales girls that scream out, Super annoying. Maybe my own voice is pretty high pitched too, but like, I just don't like to be on the receiving end of it, I guess. <laughs> It's like when I go to 109 Shibuya, what do you call it? Shibuya 109, sorry, I'm not a Tokyo person. Shibuya 109, and then all the sales girls are like screaming at the top of their lungs at a really high pitched voice, trying to get you to come in the shops. And for me, it's just like, stop! Let me shop in peace! I'm kind of like a. I prefer um, shopping in peace. Like, I don't want people to bother me, kind of person. Just let me shop. And if I have questions, I'll come and ask you. But if not, don't bother me, kind of person. Um, so, I do find the Irashai Mase thingy a bit overwhelming sometimes. 14. I find bad spelling really annoying. It's okay if it's like a casual conversation, if you're typing to your friends, or if it's just like casual stuff, you know. But if it's for the public and you're to show it in some way broadcast it like on a pamphlet on TV or on the radio I think it's really important to get it right like on a menu I really think it's important to get it checked and get it right it's a part of your company's reputation it's funny sometimes and we get a good laugh out of it but think about it if it was the opposite like in Australia you go to a Japanese restaurant and they have like a Japanese mistake in the Japanese menu like they lose credibility right 15 it's the last one I'm so tired already renting houses if you do it the normal way like Japanese people it is a nightmare I hate the concept of key money which is basically money you give to the owner to say Thank you for letting me stay in your house. And that is on top of your rent, on top of your deposit, it is money that you just give to say, thank you, that's it. It's a cultural thing once again. That's what people do in the past and it's been brought into the present. And um, some of the places have taken away key money because the key money can be as much as one and a half months, two months, you know, it's a lot of money. I'm already paying you rent to live in your house. Why am I giving extra money? Uh, all right, I think that's it guys. I'm getting so tired today. It's been a long day for me. But um, yeah, write in the comment section if you agree with any of the annoying things that I talked about or if you have some of your own annoying things that you want to share with me. Just kidding with the accent. But yes, until next video. See you! Bye! Lots of kisses for you!